Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Huh? Let's go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Y'all already know it's your man. Super bad. The kingdom kid. I know everyone is looking for trust. Everyone is looking for guidance. Everyone is looking for counsel. You know, we all try to find this in the world. And it may seem like that we have found it. But what ends up happening? You know, the devil deceives us. You know, because why? He's the father of lies. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Right? Um, that, you know, we, we, we sit there and think that, you know, the world is for us, but it's really against us because of the enemy, right? Um, you know, and a lot of times that'll cause us to put a guard up to the fact where we're not going to trust anybody. We don't want anybody's counsel. We don't want anybody's guidance. Okay. But we don't need to do that because you got to understand God uses people and God still talks through people. Okay. Um, but nevertheless, you know, two things you can always trust in is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And secondly, you can always trust in the word of God, man. Because the word of God is forever settled in the heavens, as it says in Psalms 119, is forever settled in the heavens, forever settled in the heavens, man. It will, it will never fail you. You may fall short of the word of God, but it will never fail you. Um, but, you know, we know this because it says in Numbers 23, 19, that we can always trust in the word of God because God word, he never lies. He, he will never have to repent for any time the Lord has spoken. Anything is going to come to pass. That's how the Lord has always have operated. You know, even if we go in Hebrews um, chapter 11, it talks about that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, our God, our Heavenly Father, he framed the world by his words, the words of his mouth. So that just shows us how powerful actually our words are, that Jesus framed the world by the words coming out of his mouth. Let there be light. Let there be this. Let there be this. Let there be this. And the Lord saw it and it was good. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it was, though. You know what I'm saying? So much power in our words. But nevertheless, just want to tell you, man, that God's word, it just stands forever, man. And I love how it says in Psalms um, chapter 33, it says that God spoke the word and it was done. God commanded it and it stood fast. So that's why you can always stand on God's word. It's already done. It's already standing fast. But see, if you keep going in Psalms chapter 33, it says that God brings the counsel of nations to nothing. That when it comes to the plans of the people, it's no effect. But the counsel of the Lord stands forever and to all generations. Then it also says, bless is the nations whose God is the Lord who has chosen his people for his own inheritance. So it's not about seeking our counsel or the world counsel, but God's counsel, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's counsel. Because that's what stands forever. And not only does it stand forever, he has also chosen us for his own inheritance. So it's a must that we shall all want God's counsel. The devil wants the worst for us. Jesus wants the best for us. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, God wants the best for us, man. The enemy wants the worst for us. And you got to understand that the enemy is always going to try to see he wants the worst for you. But that's why we have to always focus on the Lord who always wants the best for us. And remember, you can't earn this inheritance. You receive the inheritance. How can you work for how can you work for something that God has already worked for and chosen you to give it to you? You can't earn it. Yes, you may have to believe. Yes, you may have to take some action. Yes, but still God is causing you to to receive it. This is something that you can't earn, yo. He blessed chose us for his inheritance. So I decree and declare that the inheritance and the counsel that God has for you, that he spoke it so it shall be done for you, that God commanded it and it shall stand fast for you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, man. So always and forever stand on God's word. I love y'all. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you.